I think post the global financial crisis, the retail landscape in Australia really has changed. Consumers are far more savvy, far more cautious, and they really are a lot more researched. So retailers really need to respond to that. They need to be on the ball. They need to understand the consumers more than ever. And that's got to be a good thing. The major findings from the AMP Shopping Intent Report is that we are seeing some sales fatigue. 45% of Australians are over sales. Having said that, 55% of Australians still love a bargain and still out there shopping. The other really interesting factor is that shopaholics, nothing dampens their spirit. In 2008, around 13% of Australians were shopaholics, love to shop. It still maintains at 11% even through the GFC. Do I like sales? I love sales. I think uh, it's pretty exciting. Getting a bargain, I don't know, there's just something about getting a bargain that just, uh, it's just really, really exciting. Yeah. The underlying trend, I guess, for all retailers is that shoppers' optimism is gradually continuing to rise. And that's a good thing post the GFC. I guess our latest report says that although that's still a degree of caution amongst uh, shoppers, they're becoming, you know, less cautious about spending out in restaurants and eating out. And for us, this really is an early sign of some recovery. Going out to restaurants now is a tradition for birthdays. So the question is maybe we're, we're probably not going out anymore, but we would be going to a slightly better restaurant. I think one of the key questions I get asked a lot is, will customers return to their old shopping ways anytime soon? And I think what we're hearing is no. The whole idea of frugal fever and victory of the bargain and people being very savvy about their shopping is here to stay for some time yet. My shopping habits changed during the GFC um, because there was less money readily available so I was more cautious, more careful about what I spent. I think now I shop um, just normally. I guess I've just adapted to a different way of shopping. There's a new group of shoppers that has emerged and that's what this research really has revealed. They are discerning, they are well researched, they want greater choice, they want value for money and they want a memorable experience. So I guess it's a big shopping list but today's consumer really wants more. Factors that hold me back from spending more would probably be, I mean service is a big one. I think retailers could be a bit more personal and just recognise that they're okay with me having a little one running around in their shop as well. So I think just more personal contact would make it more inviting. For half of Australians, sales just don't work anymore. They are over the for sale sign. I don't like sales which are continuous. In the olden days there used to be two sales a year, uh, after Christmas and mid-year, and they were genuine sales. I think now shops that have sales all year aren't genuine. But I think if you're going to have a sale, it's a genuine reduction. These days shops have sales and sales items all year. How does a consumer know what the real price is? Now that they're around every day and all day, I ignore them. Well, the million dollar question really is that how can retailers capitalise in this current environment? It's those retailers that recognise the changing, shifting dynamics of the consumer mindset and importantly, can respond rapidly. You know, the internet is an amazing tool and, and consumers are using it more and more to research and get all the available information about products at their fingertips to then make an informed decision before they walk into that store. But the internet is actually just one tool. Those retailers that offer a multimedia approach, a multi-channel approach, and talk to their customers with every available media and channel that is relevant to that demographic, those are the retailers that will do well and succeed. Now is the time for retailers really to engage in fun, new, exciting ways with their customers. If we look at some global retailers that have done this in a really good way, it's, it's interesting to see how our, our retailers can, can look for inspiration. Zara is a great example of how a retailer needs to respond really quickly to the consumer's changing demand. Zara literally takes only two weeks from product on the concept board onto shelf and it, it literally launches 10,000 new designs each year. That's a great way to show how to respond quite quickly to change consumer and fast fashion. Abercrombie and Fitch are really interesting because they use Facebook and social media to the best advantage. From last count, I think Abercrombie and Fitch have something like 1.5 million Facebook friends. And what they do is they engage their consumers by getting the consumers to actually enter competitions to be the next Abercrombie and Fitch model and post ideas about what the next Abercrombie and Fitch design should look like. Great way to keep that two-way conversation between you and your consumer. Waitrose are very interesting because they operate in a highly competitive environment, but their focus is all about community and local community. 
and as the AMP shopping intent report has previously shown, community and community cocooning is now more important than ever. So what Waitrose do is they give their customers the opportunity to vote each month for the most important cause in their local community and then they give that cause all the funds for the month. Great way to engage and, and get loyalty from the consumers. I think it's a really exciting time for Australian retail right now. We're getting examples of overseas retailers coming to our shores. I think we need to be able to respond. It's almost a revolution in retail. It's a great industry to be in. I think the important thing is that retailers once again need to be mindful of the changing shift of consumer dynamics and consumer mindset and respond quickly to that and come up with exciting new ways to challenge and excite and engage with their consumers.